If our lives are like works of art, and I step back from my canvas to reflect what has informed that art, it is my island nation. It is my country. I am a Bahamian. My Bahamian childhood traveled with me down every path I've taken. I know this resonates with my extended family of Bahamian artists. Like them, I too refuse to be pigeonholed. The only thing we are willing to be defined by is our art. It is that definition of self, those guiding principles we learn on our island nation that has gotten us all through the tough times and given us the wherewithal to soar. Bahamian art is this growth that you see take place where the tradition of oil painting, which is particularly European, becomes melded in the 60s and 70s with this growing consciousness of uh, Africa and of African roots and the African movement. And you start to see different techniques coming in and different kind of wood carving. And this gets sort of amalgamated into a really exciting kind of artwork, which I think is very uniquely Bahamian. And you see that here. And it even has a sound to it because our greatest art form is Junkanoo. You know, just to see they're trying to wipe everything out, basically. Mm -hmm. You know, because my mother lives on one of the oldest, you know, streets. And our history is going to be erased, it seems like, in the next, you know, few years. Mm -hmm. and, and that's sad. You know, and we oftentimes, we oftentimes joke about the connection between the Bahamas and South Florida. Mm -hmm. Um, some say that Miami is just that island to the north. 